in terms of things that are causing us to lose to China, tariffs are neither here nor there because, as we've discussed, we're not sensitive to cost on power. But the environmental regulations that are actively preventing us from deploying renewable energy in the United States, like this is the reason Texas is winning. Texas is out deploying California 10 to 1. The regulatory environment around solar is just insane. It's Say insane. More? The regulatory environment. Yeah. Okay. So in the United States, part of the reason that solar has not been deployed at massive scale yet is that uh, a bunch of laws went into, in, into action in the early 1970s that were intended to protect our environment. And that mm-hmm. makes a lot of sense. And our environment's a great thing we should protect. But it. How, how do, how, I mean, I think people will be familiar with NEPA and whatever, but like, how yeah. is it especially impacting solar? Well, let's say you've got a bunch of private land out in the middle of no- nowhere, right? And you want to build it, solar on it. You'll probably end up triggering NEPA. Right, at which point you now have to do what is not in the law but considered necessary uh, under current regulations, which is like your four-year environmental impact review, which generates like so much paper that just the environmental impact of producing the report, because you have to cut down trees to make paper, is more than the environmental impact of just deploying the solar. Mm-hmm. Like this is bonkers. It is crazy town, right? Uh, the thing that drives me particularly crazy in Southern California is that just because solar is kind of new and off-grid solar is very new, Unless you're very, very careful, you end up getting regulated as though you're trying to build a chemical plant, even though it's a solar array. And the impact of solar array on desert is arguably positive because it shades the ground and imp- improves so- like uh, soil moisture retention. Um, there, like if you wanted to reverse desertification, you would basically just deploy solar mm-hmm. panels on it, and that would pay for the process. Um, uh, but you you end up having to go through more stringent environmental review process than if you just wanted to like grade the whole thing and cover it in concrete mm. or grade it and then park a bunch of like old rusting cars that are dropping oil into the aquifer. Right. Right. Which in many cases you don't need a permit for at all. Right. But to build the solar, it, you have to go through this whole process. And, and like, if there's one thing that anyone listening to this can do, it would be like have a categorical exemption for solar deployment or, or just like, if I put money in escrow account that says like, if after 20 years we have to pull this out, like we'll pull all the solar out of the desert and it goes back to being desert. Right. I will do that in a heartbeat. But like, if I have to, hire another biologist for $10,000 to be like, well, on that 40-acre plot, we found a tuft of grass, which we believe might be a, uh, a critical, you know, one of the 20 species that this particular species of bee uh, sometimes eats. And this species of bee is not technically endangered, but it might be at some point in the future. Uh, therefore, you can't deploy there, even though it's like zoned, unrestricted industrial, right. and it's sandwiched between a rocket test stand and like a chemical plant, for example. Right in an industrial part of the desert, I will, like, I'm going to become the joker. It is insane. <laughs> it is, like, I just think we need to be a bit balanced about this. It's like, I don't want it to, like, drive species into, into extinction. But, like, the meta problem here is if we don't move our industrial stack off fossil fuels in 10 or 20 years, first of all, we'll get poor the same way UK, UK did, right? Because they ran out of coal, basically. Um, and the second thing is we'll get poor because we'll flood our coastal cities in Florida underneath climate change. Mm-hmm. Um we need we need solar synthetics for that part. We also need to do sulfur injection and a couple yeah. of things. If you enjoyed this clip, you can watch the full episode here and subscribe for more clips. Thanks.